Welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving into the world of crime and uncovering the most infamous criminal hideouts in history. From luxurious mansions to remote jungles, these hideouts have become legendary for their secrecy and intrigue. Let's explore these fascinating places and the notorious criminals who called them home. Number one, Alcatraz Island, USA. Our journey begins in San Francisco Bay, where we find Alcatraz Island. Known as The Rock, Alcatraz was home to some of America's most notorious criminals. Al Capone, George Machine Gun Kelly, and Robert Stroud, the Birdman of Alcatraz, were among its infamous inmates. Operating as a federal prison from 1934 to 1963, Alcatraz was renowned for its isolation and supposed inescapability. Surrounded by cold, treacherous waters, it seemed like the perfect place to keep dangerous criminals at bay. Despite this, a few daring inmates attempted to escape, adding to the island's mystique. Number two, the Florida Keys, USA next, we head to the sunny Florida Keys where the infamous bank robber John Dillinger found refuge. In the early 1930s, Dillinger used the remote and sparsely populated keys to evade capture. The area's numerous islands and limited law enforcement presence made it an ideal hideout. Dillinger's time in the keys was short-lived, but it demonstrated how even the most notorious criminals could find sanctuary in seemingly peaceful places. Number three. The White House, Romania. Our next stop is Romania, where former dictator Nicolae Ceausescu had a secretive and luxurious hideout known as the White House. Nestled in the Carpathian Mountains, this mansion was equipped with secret tunnels and escape routes, reflecting Ceausescu's paranoia and need for security. The White House was more than just a residence. It was a fortress designed to protect the dictator from any potential threats. This hideout remained a symbol of his oppressive regime until his downfall in 1989. Number four, Kokang region, Myanmar in Southeast Asia. The Kokang region of Myanmar served as a stronghold for the notorious drug lord Khun Sa. Known as the Opium King, Khun Sa controlled a significant portion of the global opium trade from his fortified base. The region's rugged terrain and isolation provided natural defenses, making it difficult for law enforcement to penetrate. Khun Sa's operations flourished here for years until he eventually surrendered to the Myanmar government in the 1990s. Number five, the French Riviera, France. Our journey then takes us to the glamorous French Riviera, a surprising hideout for Albert Spaggiari, the mastermind behind the 1976 Societe Generale Bank heist in Nice. After his daring escape from custody, Spaggiari lived under the radar in this luxurious region. Blending in with the wealthy and elite, he managed to evade capture for years. The French Riviera, known for its beauty and opulence, was an unlikely but effective hiding place for this cunning criminal. Number six, Caves of the Altamira, Spain, in northern Spain, the Basque terrorist group ETA used remote caves, such as the Cave of the Altamira, as hideouts and operational bases. These natural fortresses provided the perfect cover for planning and executing their activities. The challenging terrain and isolation made it difficult for authorities to locate and dismantle their hideouts. These caves became synonymous with the group's long and violent campaign for Basque independence. Number seven, the Congo jungle, Democratic Republic of the Congo in Africa. The dense and remote jungles of the Congo provided a hideout for Joseph Kony, leader of the Lord's Resistance Army, LRA. Kony used the challenging terrain to his advantage, evading capture for decades. The jungle's natural barriers protected him and his forces from military operations. Kony's hideouts in the Congo symbolized the difficulties faced by governments in pursuing insurgent groups in such inhospitable environments. Number eight, Abu Sayyaf Camp, Philippines. In the Philippines, the Islamist militant group Abu Sayyaf found refuge in the dense jungles and remote islands of the southern region. Their camps were well hidden, making them difficult targets for government forces. The group's ability to utilize the natural landscape for protection allowed them to conduct their operations with relative impunity. 
These hideouts played a crucial role in their survival and activities over the years. Our next stop is Pablo Escobar's Hacienda Napoles in Colombia. Our next stop is Colombia, where the infamous drug lord Pablo Escobar established his notorious Hacienda Napoles. This sprawling estate included a zoo, private airport, and luxurious accommodations. It served as both a hideout and operational base for Escobar's drug empire. The Hacienda's opulence and isolation made it a symbol of Escobar's immense wealth and power. Despite its grandeur, it couldn't shield him from the eventual downfall that came with his criminal lifestyle. The last is Rural Safe House Italy. In Italy, the Mafia bosses used secluded rural houses and underground bunkers in Sicily as their hideouts. Bernardo Provenzano and Salvatore Riina, two of the most infamous Mafia leaders, evaded capture for decades by utilizing these remote and secretive locations. These hideouts were equipped with false walls, secret rooms, and escape routes, reflecting the cunning and resourcefulness of their occupants. The rural landscape of Sicily provided the perfect cover for their illicit activities. These infamous criminal hideouts, whether luxurious estates, remote jungles, or fortified bunkers, played crucial roles in the lives of these notorious criminals. They highlight the lengths to which these individuals would go to evade capture and continue their illicit activities. Each hideout tells a story of cunning, resourcefulness, and the perpetual cat and mouse game between criminals and law enforcement. Thank you for joining us on this journey through history's most infamous criminal hideouts. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more intriguing stories from the world of crime. Until next time, stay curious and stay safe.